Hey friends, my name is Waldo from Waldo and Friends and today I bring you a new streamer product that allows you to, well, do less work. Um, it is a Discord notification for when you're going live so you don't have to type one manual anymore. You can automate it within streamer.bot and this is how you do it. So like I said in the intro, this product is going to save you a little bit of time because this will make a automatic automatic uh, notification from when you're going live that you can post directly to your Discord community. So it's going to look something like this and it's a little bit customizable. So let's see how we are going to achieve this. As always, this product can be downloaded from the streamup.tips website. And when you're watching this video, it will most likely be the very last product that is released. So make sure to go to the streamup.tip websites and download the file. Um, once you download it, you get a text file which contains um, for you some gibberish, but for streamer.bot, it's all the information it needs. So let's go to streamer.bot and let's go to the actions tab. And when we're in the action step, we're going to right click, we're going to import. And what we're going to do is we come, we're going to copy the text from this text file into the input, uh, the import string, but, oh, close this first, <laughs> uh, but it's going to be my, way easier um, because you can also press import and just drag and drop the file into the import string section and it will automatic, automatically populate the fields necessary. So press import and your action, action is ready to go. So we got a few things to set up. As you can see, we got your set up your Twitch channel settings and set your Discord settings. Let's first open up the Twitch channel settings and we need to set a few arguments. First up, we need to set our channel name. So we're gonna right click, edit action, and in here, we're gonna type our channel name. So in my case, Waldo and Friends. Another part is we can change the color. So if you look back um, on here and you see this little yellow line, that is my color that I use over or it everywhere on Twitch and on Discord and places like uh, as such. So that is the color that you can change in the um, message as well. So um, we're gonna right click again and press edit action. And here you can pick your color. You can press this little button and you get a color picker where you can select all the colors you want. Uh, but I already know which one I want. So I'm gonna, just gonna type it in. Uh, my keyboard is set to the wrong um, settings. There we go. <laughs> um, EFB 700, that is my color. So we're gonna press okay. And now we're done with the Twitch settings. But now we got the Discord settings to do. Um, and we need to set the Discord webhook URL. So in order to get that, we are gonna go to Discord. And we're gonna go to your 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 server. And you're gonna press this arrow, and you're gonna go to uh, server settings. In there, you will have a section integrations. I will leave a, a link down below um, that will walk you through how to set up a, um, a webhook. Um, but as soon as you do that, you will have um, your webhook in here, and all you want to do is copy the webhook URL. So that is copied. We can close it down again, go back to streamer bot, and we are yet again gonna edit the action and paste in our URL for the webhook. There we go, it's a really long URL, just copy and paste it in and you're good to go. And the message is also gonna ping somebody, um, a role to be more specific. Um, so you can go back to um, Discord, and now we need to uh, get the role ID we want to um, ping when we are going live. So we're gonna go to roles 
And then we scroll down to the role we want. In my case, that is the Twitch notification squad. And we're gonna press, we're gonna right click and copy ID. You might not be able to see this, which is because you don't have a specific setting enabled in Discord. So let me show you where you can uh, find that setting. But remember, copy the uh, ID from the role you want to mention when you go live. So to be able to see that context menu, you need to go to your user settings, then go to advanced, almost at the bottom, and you'll need to enable developer mode. That will allow you to copy um, the um, role IDs. So we're gonna close this again, and now we're gonna set the argument for the role ID. There we go, and that's about it. It is almost done. Hey, voice over Waddle here. I forgot to tell you something important. Even though the last folder in this uh, action says do not edit, I need you to edit something in there. Um, the last action is the execute C sharp code. And I want you to make sure the references are set correctly. So go to that action, go to the references tab and enter these three references. mscorelib.dll, system.net.http.dll and system.dll. I will leave these also in the description. All right, back to the video. Um, the only thing we need to do is add a trigger that will send the notification. So in my case, let's go to commands and I made a command called live, but how you can make a command is right click, add, type the command you want, um, put it in a group and pick the action which in this case is the stream up tools, rich live notification. But I already have one, so I'm gonna edit that one. Edit, and ah, the action isn't set, so let me set the action straight. There we go, and press okay, now we're done. So whenever I type exclamation mark live in chat, it will post the notification to Discord. Um, however, if you're running OBS, uh, I mean, if you're running streamer.bot 1.4, you'll have a new section in the OBS tab, mainly an events section. So remember this only for streamer.bot 0.1.4. So this is this might be a, a new version when you're watching this video, but it will come eventually to you. Um, and what you can do is you go to your main OBS or at least the OBS that you're using and you are gonna add a new event. So we're gonna add, you guessed it, stream started. And in here, we also are gonna select the action we just imported. And in this case, it is in alphabetical order. So I need to go to the S, stream up tools, rich live notification. There we go, press okay. And now every time you go live, you automatically post a rich notification to your Discord server. Just like this one. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, if you want to see more of me, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Waller and Friends. If you want to see more on this channel, subscribe. If you want to help Andy um, with his endeavors as a content creator, you can um, join us here join his discord yeah you can join his discord but you can also join patreon or become a channel member and if you want to support stream up uh, remember you can always pay a small amount uh, of money when you download a product or you can uh, choose to sign up for the stream up patreon with that being said have a good day see you later I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.